Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles, and I am back once again playing my Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, I did the Safari Zone. I continued the Safari Zone. I actually started it the episode before, and uh, I got Surf, and then we headed. We messed about for a little bit, and then we headed to Route 12. We have just completed Route 12, and we are now on Route 13. And then the plan is to do Route 13, 14, and 15. Uh, I need to go and do the Saffron Gym, the sixth gym in the game. I need to remember to go do that and then explore Saffron City as a whole and then we can surf down to uh, Seaform Island, Cinnabar, uh, get the 7th gym badge and then obviously we've got the Giovanni gym badge in Viridian City and then we can go do the Elite Four. Uh, obviously that's, that's a very, very sort of roundabout way, sort of a very short version of what we need to do. Obviously there's going to be a lot of episodes because we're going to have to grind, we've got other things to explore, we've got a lot of things that are going on it's not just a simple case of doing that uh but yeah just overall that is the plan for what we're going to do obviously we are nowhere near the level needed to be to tackle the elite four uh but that is basically our plan we need to do these routes we need to do the sixth gym we need to do the seventh gym we need to get the legendary bird uh articuno the first one then we just need to get where well, it's, it's not going to be articuno though it could be anything uh being a randomizer then obviously we got a um, mewtwo where snorlax was and uh then we've also got uh, the second, the third is after those Moltres Edgery Burst to get who knows what we're going to get from them. Uh, seventh gym, eighth gym, uh, Victory Road, Elite Four, uh, go find where Mewtwo is, but obviously who knows what that's going to be. Obviously we've got a Mewtwo with Snorlax, so there's a good chance we're going to um, get to where Mewtwo is, and it's going to be like a Metapod or something like that. That would suck so, so much, but I'm going to get like a level 50s Metapod, that'd be really weird. Is it low? I don't know what it is anyway. But yeah, and then obviously once we do that, we've got the post-game stuff, which is uh, in the remakes. I believe there's a post-game. Uh, obviously, in Gen 2, uh, after on Gen 1, after you got Mewtwo, that was essentially how you could do. You beat the Elite Four over and over again until you eventually got bored of doing so. Um, with Gen 2, you went back to Kanto after you did the Johto stuff. So I think I'm sure there's like a post-game. In this remake, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure there is, but I don't know for sure. We'll find out. So yeah, we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. But we're having fun. We're having fun. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I am loving this game. I'm so much fun. I've never really played the remakes. I may have turned the remakes on Fire Red or Leaf Green on before. I might have played like a little bit of it. But this is like the first time I've actually sat and done an actual playthrough of it. And actually made some real progress on it. And uh, what's really cool as well is the fact that I'm doing it as a randomizer. And it's making the game a lot more interesting. Because obviously I've done... I've played through Gen 1 so many times over the years. I mean, Gen 1 is my generation when it comes to Pokemon games. That is my favorite generation. So I've played the originals, red, blue, yellow. I've even dabbled in green here and there. Uh, I've played like a translated version of it before. I've maybe even played the Japanese one before. Um, but yeah, I've never really played the remakes of Fire Red Leaf Green. I, like I said, I may have dabbled in it here and there. I might have turned it on once before, but never really done a playthrough. Now, doing a randomizer, this makes it so much more fun because we don't know what's around every corner. We don't know what we're going to find. Obviously, we've got a Dragonite at our start. We found a Zapdos. And then we found a Mewtwo where Snorlax is meant to be. It just shows how really weird this game is and how awesome it is. And uh, I'm re the randomizer, I mean, shows how weird it is and how awesome it is. And I'm actually the thing, I'm enjoying this playthrough more because it's a randomizer. I think I'd enjoy it less if I was just doing a normal Nuzlocke. Uh, because I've played Fire Red Leaf Green so many times. Well, I'm going to be doing the Nuzlocke of it. I just think I'm having more fun experiencing the remakes because of this. Uh, because I'm doing it as a randomizer, I think it's just so much fun. I'm absolutely loving it. And like I said, I really hope you guys are digging it as much as I am, because this is awesome. This has been one of my favourite. I've played through the majority of Portland games. There's a few that I've never played, but a good majority. I sort of, when Gen 3 happened, I started falling out of love with Pokemon. I started growing up. I was sort of a, a teenager, and uh, I, was, I was into other things that wasn't Pokemon related, um, because teenagers don't play Pokemon. We're too cool for that stuff. We're not children anymore. I sort of fell out of love with Pokemon. Didn't really dabble in it again until the DS. I may have dabbled, I may have played the old ones here and there, but I think I missed, I think I played Ruby, but I never finished it. I don't think I played Gen 4 at all. I didn't play Fire Red, Leaf Green, Hard Gold, Soul Silver at all. 
uh, the gen before black and white is the last one I played because I think I played it was like diamond pearl I think I played platinum if that was what the third gen 4 game was and then I think I don't think I played black and white I don't think I played black and white too so I sort of I played red blue yellow gold silver crystal ruby but I didn't finish ruby and then the next one I played that I remember playing anyway I might, like I said I might have double team and then the next one I remember playing was platinum assuming that was the third game in gen 3 a gen 4 then I skipped Gen 5, and then I played X, and then I played Omega Ruby, but I didn't finish it. I actually lost the game card, I don't know where it is, so that's why I never finished it. And then I got Pokemon Sun. So obviously, once Gen 2 happened, I started growing up. Too cool for Pokemon. So I stopped playing, and that is kind of where I'm at now. So sort of, I played X, X. it was good, I enjoyed it. Didn't really play Omega Ruby, played it a little bit. Played Sun, enjoyed it, but I've always been very casual. I've never been a massive Pokemon fan. Not, I've, no, I've been a massive Pokemon fan. I've never been very into sort of knowing about it. Like some people know exactly what all these like these berries do, what all these items do, the the rates that you find shiny Pokemon, how you do this, how you do that. They basically know every little detail about the game. Whereas I've always just kind of played the game beat the Elite Four, or the equivalent of the Elite Four, whatever would be in the game, and then that would pretty much be it. I'd pretty much stop, I'd play the game a little bit, and then I'd slowly lose interest in it, and I'd stop playing altogether. Uh, also, when Gen 1 and 2 happened, I played through them so many times. I, I thought you knew more about Pokemon when I was 10 years old than I do now. Like, I was really into Pokemon. I had guides, I studied everything. I knew as much as I could about it. I tried to learn everything I could about Pokemon. I'm really into it. And then... Over time, I lost interest in it, and now I'm sort of like, now I'm at this point now where even though I've played Gen 6 and 7, I still don't know a great deal about the games. I sort of, I'm very, being casually playing them, and then I got inspired to start doing Pokemon on YouTube, and then I've started getting interested in it again, and now I'm trying to sort of like catch up and learn all the stuff there is to learn about Pokemon now, and uh, what everything does, like how you, like always like all the in-depth stuff about Pokemon IVs and stuff like that. And um, I've got to say I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think... Obviously, if I knew all this stuff back in the day, that would have made things a lot easier for me. And I would have known a lot more. I would have been able to figure it out a lot more. And I'd have a better understanding about stuff. But uh, it is what it is. I don't mind. I'm learning stuff now. I'm having fun with it. I'm experiencing a lot of new things for the first time. Like I said, I've never really dabbled in these Gen 1 remakes by being a Gen 1 guy. Uh, so it's given me a lot of opportunity to explore these new things and sort of like learn new things about the games and sort of see things that I haven't seen before. And uh, yeah, overall, really, really enjoying it. Really enjoying this playthrough, really enjoying learning about Pokemon again, really enjoying getting back into it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am too. So enough about that anyway, I'm just going to get back into the game once I talk about the game a little bit. We've got leftovers going on, it's helping us out a little bit to store some HP. Not a bad thing. I kind of wish it stopped doing it all the time, or it just kind of not make a big deal out of it. Okay, it's throwing the battle down. And I kind of don't want to be hovelized and confused at the same time, because that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I'm just kind of getting decimated here. I hope this is super effective. I'm assuming because it's potentially a flying type, it could be. Yes, it is. That's good. Oh, we're nearly level 29. Who's a Porygon? I hope this item isn't just a one-time thing. This is actually a really cool item. And don't be super, super, super effective. Please don't be, don't be, don't be. Yeah, we go. That's good. I'm trying to just use Zapdos on its own so I can level up easier. I don't know why that move takes so long to do. That's so annoying. Maybe just like giving Pokemon like items to hold because they seem to be really good. I 
They seem to really help you out. Maybe I should take more, pay more attention to them. I'm going to swap off for Dragonite. This is getting on my nerves now. I think I'm going to swap off for Dragonite. We'll see. If I can beat it without swapping out, that'd be ideal, because it's going to help us out a lot more, isn't it? And we're going to get more experience points, so... If we get one more good move in, then we should be good. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go. Didn't have to swap out. We're now level 29. Not complaining. Oh, we saw on route 13. Oh, we're on route 14. Oh, we saw on route 13. I'm going to find a Pokemon. We're going to get a Pokemon. We have the Super Duper Vod now. Try and speed that up a little bit. I've pressed space by my keyboard, it speeds up. Not even the nibble. Why can't I find any Pokemon? This is so annoying. I don't know what moving a few steps down is going to do, but you never know, do you? Yeah, yeah, boy. Let's see what it is. What is it today? It is an Oddish. We have, do we have an Oddish? Do we have an Oddish? We might do. So that's going to help us out because that means we don't have to get it. I'm not entirely sure. I believe we've got an Oddish. To my memory, we have one. And I'm going to find out now. No, we don't. Oh. That wasn't because I didn't want to Oddish. I genuinely thought... As if we, there's only four Pokemon in the 151 Pokedex we haven't seen yet. Ooh. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. By not, I, I didn't really want the Oddish. But I didn't cheat. I genuinely believed we had an Oddish already, so we didn't need one. If another Oddish popped up there, I would have got it. That is... Believe me. So I'm making this game speed up a little bit just to make it a little bit quicker for us there we go I actually feel a bit guilty now about not um, getting that audition because I should have but I genuinely thought we had an audition already but it is, it is what it is I genuinely believe we had an Oddish. So, that's our level 30, our Route 13 Pokemon. Everyone could like really do have been healed up, but I don't really want to go back to the Pokemon Center, so I might just use items. I want to see what items we can give to Pokemon. I quite like the fact that Leftovers is giving Zapdos HPs. I'm going to see what we've actually got. Mystic Water. Hasn't... That could be really handy when going through like caves. I'm going to keep that in mind if we ever go somewhere where I don't want to get a Pokemon. We don't have any ground moves. We don't have a grass type Pokemon.
That could be really good to give some that we don't want to lose. Because that might help it not die. What's Dragonite holding? It's holding Shore Salt. What does Shore Salt do? It boosts the holding port once you have conditioning time. I might give that as after us. Oh, he's already got an item. No, he's already got one. So what can we give Dragonite? Give him that one. And now we're gonna heal up a little bit. Get rid of all the paralyzed effects, then we're gonna use some super portions. We're gonna get our Pokemon healed up a little bit. Where's our suit portions at? There they are. There we are, all good in the hood. Now we're going to face this trainer. Might as well speed the game up a little bit. That was quick. I know some people won't like that, but it just speeds up the game a little bit. Zapdos is level 30, which means we can now train up our next Pokemon that we're going to do. Which is going to be Omastar. There we go. Omastar is now level 26. He's about to use a Dragonite. What level is his Dragonite? 27. Ah, I'm going to stick around. Don't kill my Dragonite, my Omastar. That's not good. I know it's super effective, but I don't want to take the chance. You know what I mean? There we go. I don't know why I keep it in the space, but I've pretty much very rarely done it throughout this whole playthrough. I just kind of like want to get it done. <laughs> There's nothing even there, and we can't even get a Pokemon. What is it? Alakazam. Damn, that would have been a good Pokemon. But we've got a Mewtwo, we don't need a Psychic. Just trying to see what trainers we've already beat. We beat this one, didn't we? We beat her. So we've got that dude, that dude. We've got a dude up here. We're going to give Mewtwo 
that. Right, now we're gonna face this trainer. Ooh, he's got five Pokemon. There we go, Clefable is down. Nidoran nail. I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop doing that now because it's probably annoying people. Damn, almost that is beast in it. Amistar versus Amistar. Let's go. Has it even worked? As if my Amistar beat its, beat its own type with a water move. As if my Amistar beat a water and type with a move. Oh, move. That's just so cool. Amistar is nailing this thing. Let the team down a bit there. Didn't one hit kill that one. Never mind. Missed. That one didn't though. Got a magic cap. Oh, magic cap can actually attack though, can you? Yeah, you can. There we go. How's Amistar's HP doing? Nah, not bad actually. Oh, I suppose he did have the item that really increases water attacks, didn't it? That's Route 14. Oh, as if I just did that. I've turned back. Oh, this one's going to be an easy one, isn't it? There we go. Level 28. There we go. Be oddish. And he's about to send in Glefable, so we'll just... Yeah, I should suppose I'm getting cocky and speeding that up because I wasn't even paying attention to what attacks were being done. I should stop doing that. Yeah, I just did it again. Stop missing! Oh, if I, if I missed there and that attacked, I could have lost him. Stop it. Stop it. Stop doing that. Stop making it go fast. I need to tell myself. I need to tell myself to stop. Stop doing it because it's going to cost me out on the start at some point. Let's get back on Route 13. There we go. I can do it when I'm doing stuff like that. It's speeding it up. I should really stop doing it in the middle of battle. Do the battles at normal speed. I can do that when they're talking. How about you, Snorlax? I wish I still had some of my um, Surf. That would have been good. Let's see what moves are good against him. Six and two phase early, in it? We'll go with Bite. Seems to make him flinch every now and then. Oh, he's going to make it sleepy. We're going to have to beat him quick. Oh. That's annoying. Next time I go to Pokemon Center, I need to remind myself to empty out my bag a little bit. That sucks. It seems like he's asleep and he can't do anything. I might I can speed it up now. There we go. Level 29. He's about you slow bro. Didn't really 
do a great deal that did it. As if I did loads of... That damaged me a lot. It's a water type Pokemon. Right, use bite. There we go, that is the biker Jared, I think his name was. I've got fresh water, we'll just use that. Might as well. The trainer there. We're going to go and beat him because we might as well because I'm trying to defeat every trainer I see because obviously it's experience points. He's got four. He's got a metapod. I'm not going to complain. There we go. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Got a Venus. Oh, uh, aren't they strong against me? find out apparently so swap out from you two I've already done it but that's what we're gonna do we swap off from you two don't want Omstar to get defeated because they're they're weak against grass type Pokemon Omstar is level 30 and Mewtwo is level 34 so now we can start leveling up our mad champ because my aim was to get him to level 30 See what revenge does. Revenge worked really, really well. Oh, nearly. Nearly level 26. Very close. Don't do that. And revenge is apparently very effective against Wigglytuff. Cannot complain. And my champ is now level 26. And then we'll finish this battle when we're swapping him out for my main Pokemon. Beat that dude up there. Just double check. Yes, we did. So now we can face this dude here. We've nearly done Route 14. Did we get a Pokemon Route 14? We got Kangaskhan on Route 15, if I remember rightly. So we can get a Pokemon on this route if we find some grass. Oh, we can fish. There we go. Cypher is defeated. And my champ is level 27. It's really great that we start using the Pokemon on the run now. Rather than having to always rely on Dragonite or Mewtwo. That's always a good thing. They're leveling up a lot quicker this way. Let's try Revenge. Six and two threes. Oh... Damn, that was close. My champ is level 28. Not bad. Not bad at all. About to send a Charizard. We're going to be swapping out, though. We're we'll swapping off from Mewtwo. Get Mewtwo a little bit. There we go. Mewtwo beat him. He's going to send a Grimer. We'll just use uh, Mewtwo and we'll finish the job off. There we go. We'll heal up Machamp a little bit. Find what we're after. There we go. We'll use it on Machamp. And we'll cycle back down to the Super Potion, which is there. And we'll give that to Machamp. And then we're going to carry on our Merry Way. There's two trainers here.
There we go. Marowak is down. We are level 29 with Machamp. It's Weedle, so this is going to be a very easy one. It's poison, damn. Yeah, no. Don't get cocky. I keep getting cocky and I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Right, I need to use Antidote quick on Machamp. Where they are? There they are. I'm going to use a couple of super potions as well because we are almost level 30 with Machamp, which is great. Because that's where we want him to be. And once we swap back out our Pokemon, we can get um, Execute to the same way. Is that Grass still on level 14? It seems like it is. So that's good. Because we want that. Oh, the Mewtwo. I'm not taking no chances here, so I'll put the Dragonite. Close, close. There we go, Mewtwo is down. Machamp is level 30. Seems though like we're not trading up go uh, Persian, we'll just leave him. Because obviously he's going back in the box, he's going to use him for cut. He is quite a few trainers. That's always a good thing. We don't actually need him. We're going to train up one of them anyway. We might as well continue training up um, Machamp. That was easy. Let's train her here. Shit, don't cost me, don't cost me. Oh, that's good. I keep getting cocky. That's gonna that's gonna get me one day. I'm gonna end up losing a Pokemon because of it. I don't know if I can cycle up and then back down, is that I might as well just do with this. I need to tell us to stop doing it. Stop being impatient and just play the game properly. I don't do it in battle. Right, please be a dual battle. Yeah, there we go. So much easier. Oh, I missed. No, oh, wrong one. That move, that's what I want to do. Sorted. That's route 15. Do you want to go up here because we can get a Pokemon up here? Oh, there's a lot of trainers. We haven't even got many... Um, Well, haven't we got many of uh, portions? Oh, I wish I had someone to fly. I don't know how far away I am from Fusion City. I don't know how many port trainers we've got. We could just head to Fusion City. That could be the easier route. See if we can avoid these trainers. Head to Fusion City rather than heading all the way back to Lavender Town. And then we'll just get the two Pokemon. We'll just finish these routes. What's up here? That might be the easiest way to do it. 
What's this aid one? What's he gonna give us? 50 is meant to give us a reward. How many? How many have we done? He only done 27. That's fine. I want the XP share. So we'll head to Fuchsia again. What's down here? Nothing. I head to the Pokemon Center. Because then we can go back through 14 and, uh, 15 and 14. We'll get a Pokemon on each route. We need to keep cut because this train is at the top. So we have to keep um, Persian. Oh yeah, Machamp's level 31, so we're just going to keep on uh, training him up. But I've just noticed that we are very, very far in uh, to this video. So I think this would be the perfect time to end things here. We've done quite a lot. We did 13. We've done part of 14. And uh, then in the next video, we'll... Oh, I need to go to the Pokemon. Sorry. So yes, I'm going to end this video here either way. I'm going to head to the Pokemon Mart. But what I'm going to be doing next is... We've done Route 13. We've done most of Route 14. We've got a few trainers and a Pokemon to get in Route 14. And then we need to do Route 15. So we've got a bit to do still. But uh, we're already quite f far through this video. So I think it's probably the perfect time to end it. There's no point making it even longer. Because that means even less people are going to be watching than there probably already are now. So I'm going to do that in the next video. We're going to start tackling that. That is going to be my plan. So right, I'm going to end this video here as I go back towards Fuchsia uh, Route 15. And then we will start the next video at Route 15 and we'll do that. So hope you guys enjoy this video today. I had a lot of fun doing it. As always, I always have a lot of fun doing these videos. They're absolutely great. I love playing it. This playthrough is so, so good. And uh, I'm so happy that I am doing it. So hopefully you guys enjoying it as much as I am. And if you have, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. My name is Daryl. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.